What's up everyone, this is iTalkers Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can hide and lock applications on your iPhone. Yes, I said lock using a Siri shortcut. So you can see I'm opening up the apps on my dock, but then whenever I click this shortcut, you can see that they're no longer able to be accessed and they're even more hidden than before. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do this on iOS 13. Now, I do just want to mention that this works best on the iPhone 10 style devices, and it should work on the iPhone style devices with the home button but if it doesn't work for you there is an alternative that i'll mention for home button devices at the end of the video after i explain how to do it on the iphone 10 XI and 10s and the 10r as well i also just want to mention that i got a cool few videos coming up on my second channel soon about this ipod and a bunch of other ipods i got a really cool mini series i'm going to start showing you cool stuff about the ipod i guess and that'll be up on the second channel today and more videos will be out on the second channel as well relating to iPods, iPhones, Macs, and things like that. So check that out. That'll be down below if you want to see more about tech. All right. So first jump into settings on your iPhone 10 style device or home button device, but I recommend using the 10 style device and go to display and text size. Now you need to have these three options turned on. So reduce transparency, increase contrast, and then that third option. And then now we're gonna go back into settings and then go to motion. And then from here, go to turn on reduce motion. You want that turned on. Next, we're gonna set a wallpaper from the photos application. Do not use the settings app, but when you're in the photos application while the wallpaper is setting, make sure you spam the home button swipe gesture on the iPhone and your phone should respring. Now it is at that point that I was not able to replicate it on my iPhone SE. So you can try it out if you want. If you have like an iPhone 8, 7, or 6S, I would try it out first. And if it works, then you can continue with the tutorial. If it doesn't respring for you, then you could continue the rest of the tutorial, or you could watch till the end when I show you an alternative for home button style devices. So we're gonna jump inside settings on my iPhone 10, and then you're gonna wanna turn off reduce transparency. And then you'll see that the apps are no longer visible in a normal way, but they are still present. So you can see that I can actually tap and interact with the app icons, but they are no longer as visible. But you can see that I can drag applications in, and on top of that, I can actually access and open them. But there is a way to actually lock them and prevent them from being used in case someone finds the glowing dock suspicious. And the two ways you can do that is you can either set a colorful wallpaper or you could use a series shortcut. But I just want to mention that if you search the app using Spotlight Search, you can still find the app even if it's hidden on the home screen. So you're going to want to go to your settings, go to Siri and search, and then find the application you want to hide that you're going to put in the dock. And you want to make sure that all of these are turned off so that way it's not able to be found in Spotlight Search. So if someone is for some reason able to actually find your hidden apps, they can't search for them. So now you see that the apps are actually hidden, but you can access them very easily. So it's easy for you to use, but it's hard for someone to find them, which is exactly what you want. But if you're going to give your device to someone, what you could do is if you turn on reduced transparency, it locks the dock and it makes it so you can't even interact or use it. So this is good if you want to lock the applications because if you tap on it, it won't work, but it's kind of annoying because when you want to use them, you have to go all the way back into settings. So that's why I created this really easy and simple to use Siri shortcut. And you can see that right now my apps are able to be interact with, and you can see that I can tap on them, but once I run the shortcut, it automatically locks the applications and they don't even look like they exist. So there you go. That's how you basically lock the applications for the iPhone 10 style devices. And if you're worried about the glowing on the dock, you can use a color for wallpaper and that will cover it up and people won't even notice. So I recommend you do that. So if you have a device with a home button and you've already tried everything I mentioned before and it doesn't work, then you can move on to this tutorial. So go to series and search inside of settings and then find the application you want to hide. So once you've done that, you can turn off all the options inside of settings like I mentioned earlier in the video. So that way they're not able to find the application whenever you search it up using spotlight search. So, so now I'm going to be using a glitch that I actually found in iOS 12 and it technically works in iOS 13. So you want to tap on the edit button and the search bar and click the home button at the same time. And you'll see that it prevents your iPhone from being able to swipe to the next page on your home screen. So this is basically a way of locking the applications on your second and third home screen page. 
Now, what if you want to access them because you can't use Spotlight Search and you can't access them anymore. So how do you use them? Well, if you just tap on the dots, you can see that it swipes between pages very simply. Now, I actually asked family members and people I know, and no one even knew about that, like tapping on the page dots could even do that. People thought they were just decorational. So you can see that when I tap on the search bar and edit button at the same time, you will notice that it will lock the home screen. You may have to try it a few times. And I just want to mention that this does work in iOS 12 and iOS 13. So there's one more thing I want to mention because I kind of forgot to mention it earlier for home button devices. You're going to want to make sure that reduce motion is turned off when you do the glitch. If reduce motion is turned on, it will not work for you. So don't be leaving angry comments saying, hey, the video's fake, it doesn't work. Because right now I'm on iOS 13 beta 2. And as of right now, both methods are working for the devices I've specified. So thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.